Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. perish if he stays you showed great metal at the gate the metal of a skilled sword for hire i want you to provide your services to zevlor offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove i'm sure they'll reward you well they're to be gone before final prayer if they are not the viper must strike You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't let this grove be hung. Not again. I sent you to Zevlor. Nettie, yes. She's bumbling about somewhere. But if your treatment is meant to outlast the right, you'll be removed with the rest. you needed you found her but I still don't know what she can do for you why are you asking did it look like a tadpole but from your worst nightmare all slime teeth and tentacles
I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know their victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you, I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but... Thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal.
Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned, and perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saloon. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why do you think so? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick trip. 